Well, thank goodness for good chairs. Um, I am here to announce a uh, follow-on to Don Patton's presentation. Um, he, he started me off looking at evolution, the facts and evidence for evolution, uh, four years ago. He didn't know he was doing it. He just gave me a quote in a, in a, in a, in a presentation. The quote was won by Francis Ayala that from, a, from a conference on macroevolution that took place in, get this, November 21st, 1980. We're talking about facts. These, it was a conference of, of paleontologists, ma uh, zoologists, uh, microbiologists, the heavy hitters of, of all evolution were there. Primary researchers. This is where truth comes from. The primary researcher. Don Patton represented a little bit of that. The only primary researcher that was before this committee today that I saw, a person out there digging fossils, he knows the truth. These guys know the truth. What did they say? Two days, paleontologists presented information, and finally Francis Ayala got on the floor and said, from what the paleontologists tell us, I will tell you that small changes do not accumulate. Why that wording? Because Charles Darwin said in his Origin of Species, if it can be shown that any organ cannot be the product of successive slight modifications, then my theory would break down. And it broke. 30 years ago, that happened, and we are, are still in the dark about it. Still in the dark. Evolution is dead. Now, I didn't take it this way. I did qualify that evidence. I qualified it, and it was true. Everything in, in that quote was in context and properly stated. So evolution died as of that moment, but I wasn't satisfied with that. I went in to find out what happened in the intervening 25 to 30 years, and that's a fair question. We now have DNA. We have lots of, of tools that could affect the, the, the realistic uh, uh, position of evolution as a, as a factor today. So I went in and I got a book by the most credentialed person I could find, Ernst Mayer, Harvard Chair in Biology, 14 books published, uh, a man who was one of the propounders of the modern synthesis, one of the three heavy hitters. I took that book and I researched it. It took me five readings and lots of notes, and I put it together. You know what the evidence is? The evidence is in three areas. Number one, stasis. We do not evolve in our tenure on Earth. There is no such thing as evolution of a, of a species. Now that's a fact that was announced by the, by the evolutionists, not by me. I'm merely a messenger telling you that this is what the evolutionists said in their own meeting. Heavy hitters, primary researchers. Stasis is the, is the way that species exist. Nothing more. Okay, now there's only one other place that evolution can take place. We now have stasis of an entire species. There's only one more place, and at the end of a species term or sometime, they could, quote, speciate and create something else. But there's also evidence for gaps. Uh, well, that's, that's your time. Does anyone have any questions? I just want to make a comment uh, that he, Mr. Vale brought me a book that's annotated, annotated like I've never seen, and I'd like, he's got his copy, I have a copy, and I really appreciate a lot of the work that he did. Unbelievable. Uh, Ms. Cargill. Uh, would you mind um, continuing your train of thought about the gaps? That was what I had questioned earlier, and I'd like you to speak okay. to that. Uh, I, I can give you a couple of quotes that there is no species that has a documented lineage. Okay, that implies a gap. And there are also, also more, most of the says there are gaps between all species and their supposed ancestors. So gaps are a reality that is another fact of the, of the, of the, of the evidence, quote, for evolution. The evidence for, for evolution, in fact, denies evolution. The only evidence there is says there, is, there are gaps and there are, 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 uh, is, are stasis. The other thing, though, is something that's, that was commented on by Don Patton, the fossil record. Ernst Mayer says that, that the most irrefutable evidence for evolution is a fossil record, and it is woefully inadequate, consisting of a few miser miserable scraps of a jawbone or a tooth or, or a hindquarter or something of, of that sort. I paraphrase, that's not exact. 
But the point is that the fossil record is not only incomplete, it is an infinitesimal amount. Infinitesimal. Did that answer your question? <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Dunbar? Yes, so if for those who would testify that to use the strengths and weaknesses language because there are no weaknesses to the theory of evolution and that we're presenting a watered down, um, not high standard science to our students, how would you respond to that? Truth. Truth must be taught in any curriculum. And the truth, the only truth we have for us today is that is a test that is attested to by the primary researchers, and that is the absence of evolution. If we teach anything but truth, we do ourselves a disservice. This whole thing has been covered up for, for almost 30 years now. Do we finally acknowledge that truth? Certainly one of the amendments we have in there uh, uh, states that there, is, there are gaps in the, in the, in the fossil record and there is, there are, there is stasis in, in all species. So certainly we've gone a long ways with that statement. The other part is the death of the whole theory of evolution. And that's what the truth is. Uh, Mr. Well, just a question. I know tomorrow we'll be t discussing some of those amendments, and we've heard it several times involving stasis. Can you just give us one good, easy definition of stasis? One good, easy what? Definition of stasis. Equilibrium of a species. Equilibrium, hence no evolution. A, 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 a species comes into the world with certain bodily structure. When it leaves the world, it has the same structure. Okay, let me give you a, a, a series of, of evidence presented in that same meeting, and, and, and I'll give it to you straightforward. Just a, 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 a Elizabeth Verba was the head of a paleontologi paleontological group of South, you know, South Africa. She presents, e presented evidence of 27 varieties of antelope that occurred over a period of, of 100,000 years. She had a crew of people working on those people. They unearthed huge amounts of, of fossil evidence on them. Do you know that there was not one species out of 27 that had a, had a documented ancestry? Gaps between every single one. They were in equilibrium. What they got in bone structure when they first got hold of that antelope was exactly the same bone structure they had when it, when it went, to, went to extinction. That is stasis. Thank you. Now, one other thing, stasis. The common roach we have has been in stasis for 4.5 billion years. Wow. Cyanobacteria, 3.5 billion well, years. Well, I, I think we're off on the 4.5 billion for the roach, but the three and a half billion for the cyanobacteria. Thank you. You're welcome.